introducing the micro dot from center backs. The reading head, the screen, replacing the uh, device over the correct dot center value, and the operating buttons. There's also a USB connection at the rear for uploading the images into the center back software that then calculates the percentage dot values. So, very simple. We always recommend that you read a 50% dot pattern first. This helps the device to know the difference between the black and white and the opaque background. So if I go down my calibration strip, I'm going to read in a set of nominal values starting with 5%. I know I go to 20. Of course, you can have any of the numbers that relate to your RIP calibration requirements. 35, 50, 70. Very simply, once I have in the, the number of uh, images that I require to calibrate my RIP device, I can now connect this to our software as previously said via the USB port. Upload images. The top box you have the file name and the percentage dot value. In the bottom you see the graph as it's calculated to see the curve. are stored. We can then read up individual images to the screen to calculate line angle the screen. Here we go. Complete it. And here we have it. Much more simply pull it to the screen. That is the grey scale image as the camera sees it. We still can see up in the top left hand corner it's retained a percentage dot value. It's the, the software's calculation of the screen angle and the rule. Below that we see the noise number and the contrast number. Now looking down at the image below, if I press the calculate button on the top right hand screen, it will then turn the image into a black and white one bit image. This is how we see it to make our calculations. Screen ruling an angle calculation. At the top I can have that in inches, I can have that in pixels, and I can have that in centimeters. The ability to change color. So cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, or black. That means we can set the right contrast level for the different plate types that we are reading. That's a very simple way of inputting images from a plate, automatically calculating the percentage dot values on input, seeing the curve being created, and then calling individual images up to the screen. All those images are now stored and can be stored for future use and reference.